This is an interview with Ricky Lever, a landscape photographer who's worked with and studied natural light for over 25 years. Hi, Ricky. How are you doing? Hi, Harry. Um, I'm interested in your perception of light. What is the most important aspect of landscape photography? Well, light is the most important thing, Harry. The ancient Greek word for photography does actually mean drawing with light. And it's the combination of light's intensity, its colour, its interaction with nature that provides a million different variables that make photography such a fascinating and creative process, but also mm. frustrating as you rarely get the same light twice. OK. And what, in your opinion, makes light so alluring? I think there are five areas where light is very alluring. The first one is its intensity, especially when used as backlit or spotlit. Backlit, when it's shone through translucent materials such as leaves and glass, can create a light bulb effect. Spotlit rarely happens in nature, but is very dramatic when it does, when there's a sunburst through a cloud. OK. And which elements can be implemented in designs of today? Well, for backlit, special effects, retail and hospitality, spotlit, well, it's already it's been used for a long time in the entertainment and creative industries. Yeah, OK. And you mentioned a second attribute. Yes, when light is diffused or dappled. When light is split into beams, when passing through a cloud or the leaves of a tree or even mist, you get a more ghostly or spectral appearance, very atmospheric. And, uh, you know, how do you think this can be used in, uh, well, in design? Well, it could be used for ambient lighting for a, a gardens, large or small, or subdued lighting in or outside restaurants, nightclubs, hotels, receptions. The, the third most important attribute is warmth of the light. The colour of light changes throughout the day. It's colder and bluer in the morning and warmer and more orange in the afternoon and early evening. And, uh, you know, where, where do you think this could be used? Well, warm lights are often used in the home, where, and the cold lights are used in places that need very clear visibilities, such as hospital theatres and laboratories. OK, and what's the fourth? Well, flat light is very important. I use... A lot of high contrast sunlight and shade in my black and white pictures, but sometimes you need an even distribution in every area, like a crowded street scene with tall buildings. And where where could this be used? I think in workplaces and offices and some galleries that need a flat white light. And Ricky, what's your final attribution? It's water. Water is the perfect medium to use light creatively. It can reflect, distort, abstract. It can create an image that becomes fluid, almost video-like, rather than a still photo. Water is very calming, so it can be used in a space where you want to foster tranquility, such as hospitals or hotels. And water gives off light, so it can be used in a dark space to offer more light. Thanks, Ricky. That was very interesting. And thank you for your time. My pleasure, Harry.